did look good doing a clap, though. So. You did clap, yeah? yeah. Clap I think Gorilla was a really interesting choice for this year's winner and definitely a surprising choice. I'm not sure it would have been necessarily the film I would have picked, uh, but certainly an excellently made film. It kind of starts a little bit like Mike Lee's Nuts in May, so it's about this young couple just starting out in their relationship who go on a camping trip and along the way encounter this stranger who takes the, you know, who, who changes the, the, the nature of their relationship to a certain extent. And then, then the film moves into a more sort of surreal and dreamlike territory. Um, but, but really well acted, uh, really well acted and beautifully shot and, and the kind of choreography later in the film was really, really stunning and it's got a kind of dark vein of humour through it that I really liked. So kind of uh, hats off to the jury for actually picking a, a winner that I couldn't have predicted because after seven years of, of uh, Iris it's, it's always nice to have little surprises every now and then I think. Might head back. Come on, we'll just go here. Mm. I'm tired. We're on holiday. And uh, talking about Gorilla being a surprise choice, I think when the commended uh, were mentioned, when the jury said which films they, they would like to commend, um, either of those two films would have been the ones that, if I'd had to put money on it, I would have actually picked as a winner. Uh, the last time I saw Richard was a, another Australian film and was, was a kind of dark psychological horror story uh, set in a psychiatric institution. Um, the lead performance from the main actor in it was absolutely stunning and just constantly, you just couldn't predict where it was going to go next. Uh, the film itself was full of surprises and, and featured some stunning special effects. I mean, I, I really couldn't hazard a guess at how much the film cost because that kind of thing could be done you know, surprisingly easily these days, but still looked amazing. Um, the other film as well that was a real, real standout was Fodorian, uh, which was a, a Canadian film about a father dealing with his son's burgeoning sexuality uh, with, the, with the kind of twist being that his son has Down syndrome. Um, so this was the a type of story that we haven't really seen before, uh, dealt with very tactfully and very subtly in a, in a beautifully understated way. But again, the performances from the leads in this were, were absolutely beautiful. So what are your plans for the day? It's going to rain today. I'm going to take an umbrella with me. Hmm. Not a bad idea. I might do the same thing. Now this year saw the inauguration of the Iris Youth Prize where we had a number of Cardiff teenagers uh, come in to actually vote on a, a selected programme of the short films. They didn't get to see everything that was in the programme because not everything was suitable for them, uh, but they did get to see anything that was suitable for their age group. 
And the film that they picked was Straight With You, which is a, a beautiful Dutch documentary uh, about a, an openly gay 11-year-old boy uh, based in the Netherlands and interviewing his parents and, um, and looking at the friendships that he has with his girlfriends. And um, it was, I mean, for one thing, it was just kind of beautiful to see a family accepting things at that, you know, with, with a son who was that age. Um, and also there was just an inno innocence about it that was lovely. Um, so yeah, I, I think that would have actually been, I'm sure that must have come up in, in jury deliberations as a, as a potential winner, because certainly I would have put it within the, in, in the top five. Um, so it was great to see actually the, the, the young jury make it their winner. I'm very verliefd op jongens and not op meisjes. Yeah. Uh, yeah. As I'm young, I can't get together with a meisje. That is right. Is it lastig iemand te vertellen? Ja, ik vind het best wel lastig om het op school te vertellen, want je, je bent zeker bang dat. Ik vertrouw gewoon niemand. Ja, zeker dat iemand je uit gaat lachen of zo. Of nee, gaat want vertellen. iedereen gaat het iedereen door vertellen. Ja, ik vertel echt niks. Now it's starting to feel like a little bit of a cliche because I'm sure I say this absolutely every year, but the standard of films this year was so, so high and it just seemed to, it seems to move up another rung up the ladder each year. Um, so it's a shame really that the jury can only ever commend sort of two or three films in addition to the, in addition to the winner. Um, I could happily have reeled off another, well, probably another 10 that I really, really, really loved. Um, however, if I have to narrow it down for the sake of time, um, I thought, the first date, uh, which was Janella Jackson's uh, short film, uh, which is a kind of comedy about uh, somebody about to go on a first date with somebody, I thought was absolutely hilarious. And I think it's a real shame that comedy films, out and out comedy films, don't tend to nab big prizes at award ceremonies unless they're dedicated to comedy. Um, so if somebody would like, out there would like to sponsor an Irish comedy award, I think that would be, uh, that would be quite timely in the next couple of years. Uh, but I thought this was a wonderful film, really sweet, very, very funny with two excellent central performances. Hi. She held out her hand. I was going in for the hug, but I took her hand anyway, and her earring got caught in my hair. Ow. It was a hot mess. So you took her, and you shook her? I'm an idiot. No, come on. You were just nervous. That's not all. And from the first date to a last farewell, which was Casper uh, Andreas' short. Now, Casper's shown, I think it's four feature films here at Iris over the last few years, all of which have been English language, all of which were shot in the States. Uh, but for this film, he's gone back to his native Sweden and shot a very small, very intimate drama in Swedish. Uh, funnily enough, produced by David Farmer, who also shot a, uh, who also showed a short film here a few years ago. Um, but this was, this was a kind of change of pace from what we're used to from Casper because uh, a lot of his films tend to be quite, uh, they're very funny, uh, they're very bright, they're very kind of, uh, I think, like going down in La La Land, his last film was very Californian and had that kind of uh, aesthetic to it, whereas this was very understated and quite low-key. Oh, Shannon, it's a memo. Oh. Okay. skit. Hälso kingling. Nej, okej. Okay. Jag blir pötter i magen av örter. Nej men gud, förlåt. Då tar vi kaffe. With only two British films in competition this year, you might imagine that the race for best British short would have been lacking in suspense, but that couldn't be further from the truth. Both Gingers and My Mother were excellent films. Now, they were both documentaries, but I don't think you could find two more unlike films if you tried. Uh, Gingers was basically what it, sound, what it says on the tin. It uh, explored uh, the, the issues and the prejudices and also the fetishes that ginger men encounter, red-haired men encounter, 
uh, and, and, and was interviews, very intimate interviews uh, with, with, I think it was about 12 different subjects on, on that topic. Uh, my mother, on the other hand, was, was a, a kind of very uh, intimate portrait of Gustavo, who's a drag queen based in San Francisco uh, by Cardiff filmmaker Jay Bedwani, and was just beautiful, really, really beautiful film. Um, so obviously, as somebody who's from Cardiff, I was kind of partial to that film anyway, because Jay is based here. Uh, so it was great to see that one win because he's now the first Cardiff-based filmmaker uh, to win a prize at Iris. Uh, but also, I think he was a very deserving winner. I didn't think about him, but not a lot. He died in 1990. But you know, there was, uh, there was a whole bunch of stories, like uh, I wanted a baby, I wanted his baby. And uh, I have a sister who was going to uh, carry the baby for, for us. Actually, you know, she was gonna, he was gonna fuck her. And, and uh, then she was gonna give me the baby. How's that for a story?